What's up everybody? It's your boy Carcino. I guess uh, in my last video I did with Miguel Cotto information, I wasn't supposed to say those numbers. Um, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I guess that wasn't supposed to get to the public because uh, the public started making a big uproar about it and I guess they didn't want that and then they were forced to address certain questions as to how did he get this information and why is this out in the public you know I don't want to ruin nobody's fights that's not what I wanted to do so I had to spend basically a day fanning that stuff so I couldn't make any videos that sucked but while that was going on Omar Figueroa is injured again so the WBC decided to strip him. Now, since he's been stripped, this is uh, like the third time they, I think they had to postpone a fight for him. So when he gets healthy, he'll be the number one contender. But right now, I believe uh, they have Jorge Linares uh, fighting the number one or number two contender for the belt. Which should be an easy contest for him. They want Linares to win the title very badly because he's available. And a Linares fight against Omar Figueroa would be classic if Figueroa is healthy. But I told people about Figueroa's injuries a long time ago. That they're very serious. And he would need lengthy time off to heal for those injuries. Because I believe he was gonna, he needs to have uh, surgery done on his hand. And the reason why I believe that is because of the simple fact that this is the same type of injury Paulie Malignaggi had. And he had to have surgery to have it repaired. You know, those bone spurs he's got in his hands, it's, it's only going to get worse for him. So, I think that one fight when he damaged it and he came back and tried to fight again, a lot was done in that fight more than a lot of people knew. So, on that note, I'm out. I'm tired. I've been at it all night dealing with two sides of people. People yelling at me in Spanish. People yelling at me in drunken Spanish. So I'm out. <laughs>